Hey there, it's Jules Powell, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a song on GarageBand, alright? So, uh, first thing that's going to happen is uh, when you load up a new song, it's going to uh, look a little bit like this, alright? And first thing you're going to see here is this piano. And, uh, you can use it if you want. I would actually use a real keyboard if I were you, rather than this. Um, so go ahead and just click the X at the top left corner. Alright, and uh, what you're going to see here is you got a bunch of different tracks. Um, now, there are two ways uh, to do this um, from here if you want to make a new track and add a new instrument. Uh, I'll show you the much, much easier way, and then you can uh, send me a message and I might show you the hard way. Alright, so um, to add a loop, and what a loop is, is just basically a little sound thing, like a little um, piece of music, like a little drum piece or a little something like that. So what you're going to see is um, at the bottom left corner, you're going to see a plus symbol right there. Um, the letter I with a black circle around it. An actual drawing of an eye, a real eye, like an eyeball. And um, sort of a radio thing with two mallets. Um, now to get the loops, you're going to want to click on the drawing of the eye not on the letter I, the drawing of the I. And once that happens, you're going to see a bunch of different um, sort of uh, instruments and styles and music genres. And um, so let's say I wanted to add a drum kit, all right? So what do I do? Here, I'll show you again, because that was way too fast. Here's the drum kit section, all right? I'll just tap on drum kit. And what I have here is a ton of different kits. So I can just scroll down, and to hear the drum kits, I can just double click on it. All right? Now let's say I really like that drum kit and I want to use it in my song. Uh, what I'll probably do is favorite it so I can know to come back to it, and all you have to do is just check on the favorite um, column there. And what you're going to do from there is you're going to hold the mouse on the drum beat if you want to use it in your song. Drag it up here so you see a plus symbol appear similar to that. And let go. Now, what, you're gonna, what you've just seen happen is I put the drum into the song. So I immediately have a completely new track called Drum Kit. You can see the drum symbols, and, uh, or the drum symbol. Um, and uh, you see, this is now in my song. Alright, so let's say, uh, well obviously I don't want to just have that once. So let's say I want to have it four times. How do I get it four times? Um, I don't have to just keep dragging it and dragging it and dragging it. All I have to do is uh, go to the very, very end right here. Keep it there until that little loop symbol is going to come up. It's going to be a little loop symbol. And all you're going to do is hold your mouse on it. Don't just click on it. you got to hold it on there and just drag it out, all right? Drag it out for uh, however long you want it to go for. And um, so that's what you're going to get. Now let's see. You want to see how long the first loop of the song is. And all I did to undo that was just go Apple Z, all right? Um... All I have to do is click here on the music note right by all the time stuff. And if you hold your mouse on it, it will say click to show absolute time. So right now, let's see how long this drum beat lasts. So that lasts um, about 8 seconds, alright? So we have an 8 second drum beat times 4, that would be 32 seconds of drums. And I don't know how many loops I just made of it. All right, now let's say, obviously you don't want just a song of drums, so uh, you want to add some guitar to it, all right? So I just clicked on guitar, and now I get a bunch of this stuff. But I don't want acoustic, all right? So I can combine, I can click on two different things, guitars, and then go to one of these styles over here. Let's say I want electric guitar. I myself don't really like that guitar too much, so not that one either. Yeah, that's all right. So all I have to do now, same thing I did with the drums, just hold my mouse on it and drag it. 
Now you'll see that I didn't drag it exactly to the end. All I have to do is hold my mouse on it and do it there. All right, so the same thing with there. I can loop it out. All right, so we've gotten our drums and all our stuff out. Now what we're going to want to do is, um, let's say you want to record your voice into this, which a lot of people will. Um, what you're going to want to do, and I'm going to show you really quickly how to produce, um, sort of. I'm going to click New Track, Real Instrument. Make sure you do not click Software Instrument. You want to do a real instrument. I'll just say uh, Vocals, No Effects. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is, while I'm recording, I don't want to sort of snapping, clicking sound. So I'm going to go here. Uh, I'm going to click on Control at the top right here. And uncheck Metronome by just clicking on it, all right? So now all I have to do is press this record button. And it is recording, see? Now when you talk louder like this, it'll um, obviously highlight there. So that's done. So now we can hear the playback of it. Now, if you want to hear just that track, you can go to the other two tracks and just mute them. And all you have, um, all you have to do to mute them is uh, right by where it says what it's called, um, you're going to see some symbols right by. One of them is um, a megaphone, one of them are headphones, and one of them is an uh, upside-down triangle. You're going to want to click on the megaphone, and immediately the track turns gray. That means that it's muted. Listen. All right, so now let's mute the guitar. So we can only hear the vocals. And it is. And the reason you can still hear guitar and drums is because um, while I was recording the voice, that was still playing. And it is recording. See? Now when you talk louder like this, it'll um, obviously highlight there. All right. So see what I did? And uh, now let's say I want this voice didn't sound like you would hear it on um, on an album that you would buy. So we'll just go. And uh, if we want to edit the way it sounds, which we do, if you really want to make it sound good, um, right by the drawing of the eye, we're actually going to go to the um, letter I. And you get this. Bunch, a bunch of stuff. Now, I'm going to teach you what you um, want to click on if you want to mix your voice well. First thing you're going to do, um, you're going to check compressor. And you're going to want to put that probably to the top. You're also going to check equalizer. You're going to want to put a little, little bit of reverb on there. Uh, probably wouldn't do any echo. A little more reverb. And uh, I, I have all these different effects that I can do. Listen to how distortion sounds. And that is recording. See? Now when you talk louder like this, it will obviously Alright, so see what I did? And, uh, but I don't want that, obviously. Um, if I want to make it sound like a um, record... I'm going to go all the way down to the audio unit effects right below just the regular ones and go to um, it says AU multiband compressor and I'm going to click that and I'm also going to do that on the next track now what this is going to do is take all of the gain out all the distortion and extra sounds going on around my voice which means that it's also turning down the volume which means I'll probably want to turn this track up to the top and turn these two tracks down and listen to what this sounds like Sounds a lot better. You can uh, hear the change. See, you don't hear sort of the background noises. And um, all right, so let's say I'm really, really happy with the track. Uh, first thing I'm going to want to do is save. So I'm just going to go um, to File, Save. And after I've done that, um, I can't just, I don't want to always have to play my song like this. I might want to put the song on my iPod or um, Zune or whatever you have, phone. Um, so all I have to do to put it on my iTunes, not on the iTunes store, obviously, just um, on your uh, music, is click on File and click on Export to iTunes. And you'll watch it do it. Um, so it's really pretty easy, actually, to make a song on here and then uh, to put it on uh, your iTunes account and uh, then your iPod. And uh, I will probably be able to give more in-depth instructions on more stuff you can do with it in the future, but that's just um, the basics of uh, GarageBand. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Jules Powell. Bye.